Today's devotional can be found in 2 Nephi chapter 9, verse 13. Oh, how great the plan of our God. For on the other hand, the paradise of God must deliver up the spirits of the righteous, and the grave deliver up the body of the righteous, and the spirit and the body is restored to itself again. And all men become incorruptible and immortal, and they are living souls, having a perfect knowledge like unto us in the flesh, save it be that our knowledge shall be perfect. Okay. So obviously this had to start somewhere, and it did. It started with the atonement. You see, Christ allowed himself to be crucified on the cross. And he died after nine hours of hanging there, after forgiving his tormentors after ensuring someone would look after his dear mother. And on the morning of the third day, he rose again. And he had taken up his life again, thereby beating physical death and eliminating spiritual death. For those who truly did not want to face it. And hence, he was delivered up unto his Heavenly Father. And so, because of the atonement, we can be delivered up from the grave. Or from however else we are disposed of when we die. All the righteous, all those who have lived their life the way that God would want them to, they come forth first. I mean, everybody will be resurrected, but at different times in that day of resurrection. There's a morning and an afternoon and an evening. And the most righteous were delivered first. And I'm sure there have been those that have already been delivered from their death. All these spirits are waiting in either spirit, prison, or paradise. Depending on how they received the gospel or how they were able to receive it. Oh. And the grave will deliver up the bodies, or however else. One was buried, bodies will be delivered up. Spirits will be reunited with the bodies, and the body shall be restored to itself. Perfect, but in whatever condition it was given to die in. I mean, because you'll still get your body. It won't have any blemishes or handicaps or imperfections, but you'll get your body. So take care of it. We are given knowledge here in mortality that we can take care of our body, that we might get a wonderful body back when that day comes. And the spirit and body will be restored to each other. And we cannot be tempted after we die. We cannot be tempted, because Satan has no power over us once we leave mortality, because that, he cannot come where spirits go after they die. He cannot go to the learning place of spirits. He is condemned to walk the earth as a spirit, but he cannot tempt people after they die, because all choices are made to follow God or Satan. However, and the spirits in spirit prison, they 
either made poor decisions and were overwhelmed by what mortality had, or they didn't get the opportunity. And when they die, they're free of all those things that mortality overwhelmed them with. And then they'll have the chance as a spirit person to learn about and accept the gospel, and they too shall be given the chance to receive the best blessings in eternity. Without the wor worry of Satan bothering them, or trying to drag them down. And hence, there is no corruption. In those places where men are trying to learn about the gospel after death. All people, all who have been on this earth, or all who will be on this earth, will have immortality. That is a gift given by the atonement. Everyone will be immortal. And all souls shall be living. We are all living souls, taking up bodies for the time being that we might be able to do what we need to do here and then give our body back to Heavenly Father for safekeeping as we do what we need to do in the spirit world and then someday at the right time our spirit and body will reunite and then we'll be able to go through our final judgment and have rest in our final kingdom of glory. Our souls guide us, and someday we will have a perfect knowledge of all things. But we don't have it yet, but we're being provided with tools and opportunities that we may build up the knowledge that we can handle right now. Because we can't handle all knowledge right now, it's just not, it's not practical. For if Heavenly Father tried to give us all knowledge and a perfect knowledge of everything right now, our brains would explode. Because right now, we're mortal and we get overwhelmed. So he gives us bit by bit. And as we use it wisely, he gives us more. And he gives us things according to the proper season and his will. And, and if we do that which is good. He, provide it, he provides us with that which we need to keep going and keep striving along. And we should not be afraid of this. For the knowledge of the atonement should give us the strength and the knowledge of the plan of salvation in which Everyone who wants to be remembered will be remembered, even either in this life or the next. That, that knowledge should give us great comfort because we are not doomed. We can all be rescued. We just have to want to be. Death com com comes at various times for us. And it's never easy when someone dies, but it's for their own good. They're freed from what mortality do does to people. They're free from their pain, their suffering, their sorrow, their addictions, whatever else is burdening them. And they get to go and learn knowledge without the, bear with the, without the burdens of mortality on them. They get to go and absorb knowledge like they couldn't in mortality. And they'll get a perfect knowledge faster than we will. But everybody will eventually get a perfect knowledge. And eventually all will have rest. So keep enduring. Everything will turn out okay. Because of the atonement. And because of the plan of salvation. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.